Hi everyone. Tonight I just wanted to quickly talk about a couple of nappy brands that actually make up our full nappy stash. We don't have a lot of brands and that's because I feel like I've been fortunate enough to have found the nappies that actually fit very well on my son. Now before I get into all the different nappy brands and what I like and what I don't like about them, I just want to say that every child is different. Some will have chunky thighs, others will be long and skinny. So different types of nappy brands will fit certain uh, babies a little bit better than other ones and so the ones that I found has worked for my son may not necessarily work for your child um, and vice versa the ones that I found that didn't give my son a good fit may work very well for you. If you are new to cloth nappies or you would like to know a little bit more about it feel free to check out my other video which is just a quick guide on MCNs and it will just show you the different types that are available out there. So the first one I'd like to share with everyone is the Baby Bear Bear Cub All-in-Two Nappy. So like most one size fits most nappies, it's got its rice snaps and then it's got its waist snaps. So I'll just show everyone once I've unsnapped it all. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So this nappy here comes with two inserts. You've got the rectangular booster and then you've got the hourglass insert and this hourglass insert just snaps into the cover. So this is perfect for when your child is not so much of a heavy wetter or in those newborn days where you really only need the one insert. What I do love about this insert is that the top layer is actually a micro suede layer. So that's a stay dry layer. Oh, this is actually um, bamboo fleece material. So it is super, super absorbent and it is a nice natural fibre. So these bear cub shells also have a micro suede lining. And this again is a stay dry layer. It's exactly the same material as what's used on the hourglass insert. And it just, it's perfect because it means that you can also use it as a pocket nappy if you wanted to. So over here at the back, there is a little pocket and that's where you could feed the inserts through. And I just wanted to quickly show you, this is what the PUL layer looks like. So PUL stands for polyurethane laminate and it is a type of plastic, but this is what provides the nappy um, with its waterproof uh, feature. Now the Baby Bear is one of the very few brands that actually offer both the minky style finish as well as the PUL style finish. So what that means is that the waterproof shell or the cover itself um, can come in these two different finishes. So this is an example of a Mickey finish. It's um, a lot softer, sort of furry, and it's got that velvety um, finish. Now I do want to say that it doesn't really matter whether it's a PUL or a Minky, the waterproof function is exactly the same. Now the next brand I'd like to talk about is one of our favourites and it is the Econap. This nappy didn't really fit my child very well until he was about four months old. But from then on, it's provided one of the best fit for him. So similar to the baby bear, bear cubs, these eco naps are what we call the all-in-two nappies. So I'll just open this one up and show you. And again, it's got the rise snaps. So this one here has three rows, whereas the baby bear, bear cubs, they actually have four rows. But I have found that um, with my baby bear, bear cubs on my almost two year olds, we have none of the rise snaps snapped together. Whereas the eco naps, we actually still have the first row snapped in. Um, but what I love, love, love about this is just how trim fitting it, um, it is for my child. So like I mentioned before, it's an all in two nappy. I do use this as a pocket nappy. The reason I use this as a pocket nappy is because the inserts itself doesn't have that stay dry layer that the baby bear, bear cubs do. And I prefer for my child to not feel that wet liquid up against his bottom. So that's why I actually stuff these inserts in and use it as a pocket. 
just like the baby bears, the Econaps come with two inserts. Now, once I take these out, I'll just show you. The two inserts actually snap onto each other, and there are different configurations depending on whether you have a boy or a girl. And again, you have the option to use just one insert or two, depending on um, how heavy a wetter your child is. Now the Econaps uh, nappy shell also has a micro suede uh, lining and that is exactly the same as the baby bear, bear cup, which is why you can also use it as a pocket nappy. This little top sleeve here, this is just for you to actually tuck your end of, tuck the end of your inserts in just to contain it better just in case you do have a little wriggly worm. What you do is you snap the inserts onto the actual nappy um, shell and then what you can do is you can just tuck the insert into this little pocket sleeve at the front here. And there you go. So that's that nappy would be ready to go. Now the next one that I'd like to share is the Itty Bitty Bums pull-up style nappy. So these are size nappies. I think we've got the medium size. So they do have adjustable, adjustable waist and straps and just undo this one and show you all. So there are three columns of snaps, so you can adjust your setting, and the same goes for the other side. And just like a traditional pull-up nappy, you can pull, pull them straight up. Now, the insert is actually a pocket style, so the insert is just a square, and I've folded into thirds, and I've just tucked it in the pocket over here. It does also have a micro suede uh, lining on the actual nappy shell and that again provides a stay dry layer for your child so the bottom can stay nice and dry. I must say these pull up nappies aren't as easy to actually pull up the child as a disposable pull up nappy would um, but I do like these for after bath times when my child is running around um, and he's in, often in a standing up position and it's really hard to get him to lie down post bath time. So these um, do the job really well for me. Next up are the um, Designer Bums um, Arch Pop All in Two Nappies. So again, it comes with two inserts. Um, one of them is a rectangular shaped one and it snaps in over here, which is at the front of the nappy. And then the other insert that it comes with is a very long anchor insert, which is actually very, very versatile because you can adjust the anchor to where you want the most absorbency on a child. And again, you can probably get away with using one insert and only when your child's a lot older or if they are a very heavy wetter, then you would need both um, inserts. Um, also, it has a pocket at the back, so again, you can actually pop your inserts in um, and make it a pocket nappy, or I think what most people do is that they can convert these into a night nappy just by adding an extra booster insert into the pocket over here, and then along with the two inserts on the top. So it is a one-size-fits-most nappy again, so it has the rice snaps here, and then the waist snaps along the top. So these nappies are a trimmer fit compared to some of the other nappy brands that are on the market and they're meant to sit a little bit lower just like how an underwear um, should sit. Designer Bums are well known also for their gorgeous prints. They utilise Australian artists um, who design these prints exclusively for Designer Bums. I do want to say that these designer bum nappies also come with two inserts that both have that stay dry um, layer, which is perfect for when you only need to use one insert, then you can interchange it and you know that your baby's bottom is going to stay dry as well. Next we have the bubble bump candies. Now this is the only side snapping uh, nappy that I own and um, the way it works, so it's still a one size fits most but it doesn't have the rice snap. They basically just snap on the sides, and the whole idea is that when you do snap on the side, it's meant to adjust both 
the waist elastic as well as the leg elastics. So just across like that. Now there are two rows of snaps, but you don't have to snap them on the same row. So you can use a smaller setting for the bottom row and then maybe a larger setting for the top row. And that way you can get a good fit both around the legs and the waist. Now these bubble bath candies come with two inserts as well with the large trifold that actually snaps into the nappy cover or nappy shell. Now this trifold here, the middle panel is a stay dry, um, actually has a stay dry layer and then you unfold it and then it comes with a rectangular booster. So again this is perfect if you don't have a heavy wetter then you may just get away with just the trifold and then only add the booster when you need to or when you want to use it as a night nappy. Um, then that can come in really handy. So unfortunately, these are the only nappies that haven't actually really worked well for our child. I've tried fitting this nappy on at different stages of his development and we've just gotten leaks. So it hasn't worked for us, but that doesn't mean that it won't work for you. With some babies, a sidestepping nappy may be one of the few nappies that actually will work very well. So it's just a matter of trial and error. I must say though that the inserts that come with these nappies are fantastic and super absorbent. And um, we actually use these in our night nappies, which I will talk about next. So here we have our night nappies. They are fitted nappies. They're called the Honey Pot Night Nappies and they're made by the Baby Bear Nappy brand. Now, if you're not sure what a fitted nappy is, I do cover it in my previous video, but essentially it's a nappy that's made in the shape um, of a disposable nappy, but using absorbent material. So you do need to add a cover as well. Now this one here, I think I bought it as a set, but I have a feeling that they, the Honeypot Night Nappies are sold separately and you have to purchase the covers on top of that. So I'll undo the cover and then I'll show you what's what's in here. All right, so this is what the Honey Pot nappy looks like. So like I said before, it's shaped just like a normal nappy. Now again, it's a one size fits most. So you can see that the rice snaps are along here and then you've got the waist snaps. Now this material here, I think it's uh, bamboo as well. Once I open it, it comes with a long snake insert which you can actually snap into the night nappy and then as well as a rectangular booster. So this snake insert is fairly long and again you can fold it to where you would like the most absorbency. So for a boy you may want it to have it towards the front and then for a girl you might want to have it closer to the middle. Now what makes these night nappies so special is the fact that it just comes with so many extra inserts um, in case you do need it because obviously a night nappy, it's going to have to last longer. So it does come with this bamboo trifold, which you can fold it into thirds and you can just stick it between the actual fitted nappy and the cover. And again, it will just provide extra absorbency for those hours that your child is in this nappy for. So the snake inserts that come with these nappies um, also have a stay dry layer. However, the material is actually called a bamboo velour material, unlike the micro suede that's found um, in the other nappy brands that I've mentioned earlier on. Now, the few times that I've used this, I have found that the bamboo velour isn't as good a stay dry lay as micro suede. Um, it still felt a bit damp after I changed um, his nappy. And for that reason, I've chosen to use the inserts from my bubble bub candies and pop them in um, my honey pot night nappies. Unfortunately for me, they actually snap in perfectly. But if stay dry is not something that's important for you or your child, this snake insert is very, very absorbent. And again, it's made of our bamboo fleece material as well as the boosters and then the bamboo trifold as well. And like I mentioned before, you do have to purchase a waterproof cover. Um, the ones that I've purchased from them is the PUL waterproof cover and they come in the snap versions as well as the Velcro version. So whatever preference you have, I do find that the snaps will last a bit longer. Now, if you have a very, very heavy wetter and it seems to wet through 
your night nappies. You can also consider using a wool nappy. You do have to analyze it beforehand. I've heard that they are fantastic um, as a cover, especially if your child is wetting through and you just find that the PUL covers are just not enough for them. So there you have it. These are all the nappy brands that make up our nappy stash. They are all Australian companies um, and they are absolutely beautiful quality. All of the inserts that I have mentioned are bamboo. Now when it comes to shopping for nappies, a couple of my top criteria for me myself personally is whether they're one size fits most nappies and whether the inserts are actually made of a natural fiber. So I do prefer a bamboo or um, a hemp material as opposed to microfiber, which are prone to compression leaks. And also it's not ideal to have the microfiber materials sitting up against the baby's skin as well. Um, another thing that I do look out for is obviously the fit and that comes from trial and error. Some nappies will just fit better for your child and others unfortunately just won't do the job and also don't throw out the nappies that haven't worked at the beginning I found that with my child as his body shape and size changed with time certain nappies started to fit him better so for example our eco naps we just couldn't get a good fit for the first couple of months and then um, now it's one of our favorite nappies we get the best fit from it and we're not even on its larger setting and it just it's just so trim on our child so I'll pop the links down below for all the nappy brands that I've mentioned. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you've enjoyed it.